with their new CD out today called Love and Revenge. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome international rock sensation, Damon Kelly. One, two, three,
From Las Vegas, the Pacific Southwest chapter of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences presents the 2013 Emmy Awards, celebrating excellence in television from Bakersfield, Las Vegas, Palm Springs, San Diego, San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, and Santa Maria. And good evening from San Diego. I'm your announcer, Jeff Gelder. Thank you. Now let's get to know the host of this year's awards. How's this? I'll ask a question. What question? Jazz question. You get it right. We roll. You disappear tonight. If I walk out of here tonight, I will go so far away to be just like I was dead. So what's the deal? Uh, stags, drug deal goes wrong, and this guy just rides by? Yeah, something like that, I think. Well, at least it's got a little bit of a zip code to it. Uh, Georgetown, the angle, right? No, no, the angle is that this guy, Vernon Sandoz, got an MBA from Duke. Staying at the Ramada Inn? Keep the change. Do you know anyone in New York? Yes. Who? Yes. Who? Yes. You're gonna have to give me a urine sample. I have difficulty if someone's looking. What'd you do inside? People made adjustments. As you've just seen, he's one of Hollywood's most sought-after actors. Please help me welcome Barry Shabaka Henley. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and good evening. And welcome to a, just a, an exciting evening for me tonight. I don't know why they played that clip there, right there, with me dancing with almost no clothes on, but uh, I guess they gotta do it. Anyway, I'm so excited to be here. I, uh, as you know, work in film and television, and an uh, interesting thing happened to me about uh, November of last year. I was working on a very popular television series, and I got fired. How many people in the audience have ever been fired from a job? <laughs> well, this is a very popular television show, and I won't mention the name. Two broke girls will have to speak for themselves. but. I kept getting a note and the rehearsals that, you're too genuine, you're too real. We believe everything you say. And I said, well, isn't that the point? He said, no, this guy's full of crap. I said, well, he's not walking around saying I'm full of crap. Long story short, I got fired after the network run through. And um, one month later, on the very same set of Two Broke Girls, I ended up shooting a pilot for ABC Hallmark Family Channel. And, uh, Poetic justice is always uh, something that we, uh, we live for. I also, in addition to all the great stuff I've done, I had the great honor and pleasure of working with the great Tom Sizemore. <laughs> Everyone knows who Tom Sizemore is, right? All right, well, Tom and I worked together on a show called Robbery Homicide Division, CBS, and we both played cops, we played partners. And one Saturday afternoon while we were doing the show, Tom was off, he got arrested. And Monday morning, I got a phone call from Michael Mann, the producer of the show, saying, the show has been canceled. So, in this business, with all these unpredictable events happening and all these unpredictable people happening, it is a great, great honor for those of us who were able to hang in there 
and for those of us who were able to do the work, and for us to be honored by our peers and by the community that we consider our own. So tonight, without any further ado, to all the Emmy recipients, I salute you. To win an award in this business with so many egos and so much craziness is, uh, I think it's something to be quite proud of. Before we get into our first awards, I'd like to bring out Amy Bossler, the Executive Director of the Pacific Southwest Chapter, and Brian Burke, Chapter President. Give them a warm round of applause. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for coming. First of all, please welcome and thank Barry Shabaka Henley for coming to Las Vegas and hosting our show tonight. Now, we have, a, we have a lot of ground to cover tonight, so there are a few simple rules that we insist that you follow. It says ask, but I like insist. <laughs> First of all, if the actual Emmy Award recipient is not here tonight, we ask that you do not receive on their behalf. Um, we'll be sure they get their statuette, and if you'd like to take it to them, um, you can come over here to your right and see Sarah and Angelica and sign for their statue, and you can take it to them. Second, when accepting, please keep your comments to 30 seconds or less. If you hear music, <laughs> Away. And third, if your uh, project has uh, three or more recipients, of course you're all welcome to come up on stage, but please designate one person to speak on behalf of the group, um, preferably someone who's receiving their first Emmy this evening. Fourth, we ask our very talented multiple Emmy Award recipients, just read this? Multiple okay. Emmy recipients, yeah. yeah. The one that says Amy? You read that one? Did I? No, I didn't read that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stop there. Okay, sorry. There's fourth, fourth. We, we ask our very talented multiple Emmy Award recipients to keep it brief on their second or third trips to the podium tonight. And our last tip, to accept your Emmy, please don't come directly to the stage, but enter the backstage area to your left. You can see the lighted area and then you'll exit stage left to sign for your Emmy Award. All right, so before we get started, please let's acknowledge a few important people who have helped to make tonight possible. We'd like to thank the members of our Emmy Awards Committee and our Board of Governors. They should be recognized for their hard work and the many hours that have gone into making tonight's show a success. <laughs> We would also like to thank our awards chair, Mary Ellen Eggleston. The producers of tonight's show, Craig Bentley and Mike Kurtz. Associate, associate producer, Reagan Matthews Rosie. And all the wonderful, dedicated technical and production crew behind the scenes. Good job, guys. Special thanks to AMB Publicity for sponsoring the after party and arranging talent. In addition to our volunteers, there are the many generous partners supporting Emmy and our chapter scholarship program. They are Wealth TV, La Bonita, KSNV, Digital Outpost, Fox Sports San Diego, The Good Food Factory, NBC San Diego, Seven San Diego. Uh, <laughs> the San Diego Union Tribune, Tim. Tim Austin, CPA, the College of Southern Nevada, Thank you. the School of Theater, Television, and Film at San Diego State University, our opening musical act, Damon Kelly, and Cox Communications, who will be airing this event soon in Las Vegas, San Diego, and Santa Barbara. The air dates and times and channels are in your gift bag. And thank you, Amy, for taking the long read. <laughs> We'd also like to thank all those who donated goods and services to our scholarship silent auction. 
as well as our gift bag donors. Um, please make sure that you let them know that we appreciate their support. And uh, you may have seen our photographer, Chris Rosink. You can order prints from Chris at uh, rosinkphotography.com after June 23rd. His website is in your gift bag. And last but not least, I'd like to thank our announcer, Jeff Gelder. Jeff. Thank you, Brian. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. Joining Barry Shabaka Henley to present the first two groups of awards is the former Miss Great Britain. She has hosted and produced over 40 TV shows in the UK. Liz Fuller. Well, I have to say, Liz, you look stunning. Oh, thank you so much, Barry. You That's don't it. look so bad yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, looking at our categories, I would say that we're really getting things started with a big bang. Oh, yeah? We're starting right off the bat with the big categories. We're going to start with including Newscast Morning, Newscast Weekends. Let's take a look at the first group of nominees. In the category of Newscast Morning, Larger Markets, the nominees are 10 News This Morning, Mitch Baker, 8 News Now, Post Election, Sherry Sturenberg, 8 News Now, This Morning, Sherry Sturenberg. In the category of Newscast Weekend, Smaller Markets, the nominees are Humana Wins, Adam Stocksdale, River Rescues Weekend, 6 p.m., Tammy Sorensen Brown. In the category of Newscast Weekend Larger Markets, the nominees are 10 News at 5 Weekend, Audra Stafford, KFMB TV Weekend Newscast, Movie Theater Massacre, Marcella Lee, Kenny McGregor. In the category of News Special, the nominees are Hooked on Heroin, In Your Backyard, Kurt Rivera, Steve Mills, Walter Suazo, Jeremy Roll, Airshow Raptor meets Robosaurus, Ruby Chen, Rafael Morales, Death of Junior Seau, Jim Patton, Connor Lawrence Volk, Yalda Sharifi. In the category of team coverage, the nominee is Tragedy in Colorado, Nina Martinson. Okay, here we go. Excitement. <laughs> And the Emmys go to Mitch Baker, 10 News This Morning, Adam Stocksdale, Humana Wins, Audra Stafford, 10 News at Five Weekend, Kurt Riviera, Steve Mills, Walter Suzo, Jeremy Rowell, Hooked on Heroin in Your Backyard, Ooh. and Nina Martinson, Tragedy in Colorado. Ooh. Shocking local connection to that terrifying mass shooting overnight in Colorado. The suspected Ooh. gunman's mother, gunman identified as James Holmes, lives in San Diego. News Channel 3's Mark Blaine is staying on top of developments in Palm Springs. Bianca Ray is in La Quinta, where the golf was cut short. We begin with meteorologist Ashley Brown. And Ashley, we're talking near hurricane force winds in some part. 10 News starts now. And you are looking at a live picture of a wildfire burning in the Far East County that sent hundreds of people running from their homes tonight. I watched someone in the backseat of my car come very close to dying by putting a needle in his arm. As soon as I tried it, like, I just knew it was meant for me. We know the suspect grew up and graduated from high school here, and his parents still live here. Tonight, NBC7 has complete coverage of the San Diego Connection and new details about the suspected gunman, James Egan Hall. Hello. Uh, my name is Frank Castillo, Jr. I'm here on behalf of uh, Mitch, Mitch Blocker. Mitch Baker, uh, and um, the entire 10 News team, we want to say thank you very much. We're honored. Thank you. For, thank you so much. How's everyone doing? I'm Kurt Rivera from KBAK TV, and uh, this is for the Best News Special, and I appreciate uh, the award. I want to thank my news director, Christy Jesse, my general manager, Teresa Burgess, uh, my news photographer and editor, Steve Mills, and others that worked on this piece. 
It was a piece on heroin where it's a, a rising epidemic all over this country and especially in Bakersfield young, amongst uh, young people and hopefully uh, it made an impact on folks in our area and anywhere else. Thank you very much.